Hello everyone, this is Richard with Starfield Essentials. Today I will show how to use profiles with the Vortex Mod Manager and my PC Steam installation. This seems to be a little different compared to previous Bethesda games, so I appreciate any comments about how to do this efficiently. You'll start by going to the Profiles tab and you'll see you'll have a default profile. And we're going to clone that default profile. And in the profile name, you can put in whatever you want. You can see that in my case, I have 23 mods currently enabled. And my goal with this new profile is to test new mods and probably have many mods enabled. So that's why I'm creating this new profile. After I've saved that profile, I checked to see if there is a way to open save games as there was with previous Bethesda titles. And as you can see, that doesn't exist. So I go into the saves folder on my laptop and you can see that all of the saves from the current game are in a single folder. It doesn't look like there are any subdirectories for each of the profiles, which is something that we saw in previous Bethesda games. So I enable this profile and then I go to check to see if there is an option for opening save games as there was in uh, previous Bethesda games and I don't see it for either. And then I check the directory again and I don't see any subdirectories for my new profile. It seems like everything is potentially being saved in the same original directory. So I'll have to test this out and see what happens. Now the lack of a per profile save directory could make save management complicated but we'll have to start the game and we'll see what it looks like. Starfield has started and I will pick a save. This is a save that's associated with my character Rico who has those 23 mods loaded. And my goal here is just to check to see if I have anything that looks different compared to my previous use of the game. And so far, nothing looks different. So we're gonna load that save and we'll see what we have. What I decided to do was to go back into my ship and to make a new save there so that I would be able to tell the difference between this save and the others. And then I would look to see if the game had created any new subdirectories that might be associated with this new save. Because again, I'm playing on this new profile. After exiting the game, I'm back in Vortex and I'm going to look to see if there are any new subdirectories created for my new profile. And it turns out there are not any. Uh, the new save with the new profile has just been dumped into the main directory. So what this means is it's going to be a little more difficult for us to try to manage keeping saves separate. So I'm going to try a couple different techniques for that. First, I'm going to try installing a new mod. I'm going to use the Outpost Trade Kiosk by Recluse. This is a mod that hasn't been updated in a little while, which is perfect for my case because I'm running a version of, of Starfield that isn't up to date with the latest version. I'll usually wait a few days before I update. And for the purposes of this test, this older version is fine. And as you'll see, it works great with the version that I have installed. So I click on the Vortex link and it's going to cause Vortex to handle the installation of this mod for me, which is great, which is the reason why I use a mod manager like Vortex. And I know some people use uh, MO2, which is fine. I haven't tried that before, but uh, you know, anyone's experience with that, uh, if you wanna leave a comment, uh, that would be interesting as well. Now that that mod is enabled, I'm going to go back into the game as that new mod variant one profile, and we'll make sure that we can install that outpost traded kiosks so that there is a tangible difference between this game and the previous one that only has 23 mods enabled. Here I am as my mod variant one character installing the trade authority kiosk. This will show that the save that I'm using is the one with the 24 mods. And after that, I go back to my laptop after saving and I check to see if there are any differences in the saves. And once again, there are no subdirectories that are associated with either profile. The next thing I tried was going to the Enhance Clinic on Neon. I thought maybe if I changed my character's name, that would make a difference. So I created a new name for this character, Rico Mod. Turns out you can't use numbers in the name. So this character is now simply called Rico Mod. I wondered if by changing the character's name when I saved under this new modded profile, would I see a new option to load a character by the name of Rico Mod as opposed to simply Rico. And after checking my save directory, I started the game under the 
uh, Starfield default profile. In the Starfield load menu, I wanted to see if there were now two characters listed, Rico and Rico Mod, and unfortunately only Rico Mod was listed, so this did not accomplish my goal. I thought it was odd that when using my default profile, Rico Mod was listed as an option, but when I started the game, the character Rico was listed, which is what I would have expected. I realized I was going to have to try a different approach to keep these different modded characters separate from each other. So what I did was I went back to the modded variant profile and I started Starfield. And my goal here was to try using a ship naming technique in order to keep the two profiles distinct. I ended up visiting the ship technician at uh, Titan and renaming this ship to Blue Wolf Mod 1. That way when I save while in the ship, it will give the save file a name that reminds me of which character I'm using. So for example, as I save here, and then I will go back and I will load this save. As you can see, this save is named Blue Wolf Mod 1. There's both the exit save and the regular save, the manual save. So this is the easiest way, I think, to manage your different profiles. You'll want to name the ship in the new profile something different to differentiate it from the original. And then you'll want to save while inside the ship. My name is Richard. This is Starfield Essentials, and I will see you in the Starfield.